It seems like a lot of people are experiencing issues with their Facebook ads performance. I'm also experiencing some drop in conversions, some drops in results. And I have this across, I think, three or four ad accounts. When I went on Reddit, I saw that a lot of people are also experiencing the same problem. So today what I'm going to do, I'm going to read you some of the threads. I'm going to give you my opinion. I'm going to give you my comments and you can compare your own performance and maybe we'll be able to find the solution, but maybe not. So how is your performance today? Mine is down on basically every account across the board. This is what this guy says, Maestro753. Another guy or another girl answers down bad quality traffic this month is so depressing and i completely agree i experienced that the traffic is a very bad quality all my campaigns are optimized for purchases or conversions it seems like the traffic i receive is just the worst traffic ever because i'm getting a lot of clicks on my ads my personal click-through rate is good people are going to the landing page but people for some reason are not buying. So I also believe that Facebook is trying to send us some bad traffic. And whenever my ads are not working, I also feel depressed. My mood is down. So I completely relate to this guy. Another girl or guy, Avesta HD, I'm not sure if I pronounced this right, says very, very bad worst month since early 2023. The worst month I personally had on Facebook ads was in 2018 or maybe 2019. I had this ad account. We were spending crazy money on it. The ad account was working amazing. We were getting two or three return ad spend for a digital product. Then all of a sudden my ads stopped working. One day I was crushing it. The next day nothing seemed to work. We've tested different campaign optimization, different campaign settings, different ad creative and maybe from July until early September, nothing seemed to work and all of a sudden Facebook ads started working again. So if I have to be honest with you back then, in my opinion, there was a problem with the Facebook ads delivery and I'm pretty sure we're experiencing the same thing all over again. Another guy, administrative end 905 says, Nothing works, not broad, not advantage plus, not stacked interest. And I noticed that when I try to make a new ad, the location appears as worldwide. So something is up, unfortunately, wasting our money. Yeah, I agree. I also feel that we are wasting our money. And I relate to this guy as well, because in my ad account, I've tried setting up interest. I had a campaign where I set the budget for $50 per day. Then I did, I think, 10 ad sets inside the campaign. I tried another campaign using Advantage Plus, $50 per day. Didn't seem to work. I've tried broad. I've tried creating new ads. The ads seem to be getting good click-through rate. A lot of people are clicking on my ads, so the click-through rate is higher than usual. But the other stats are just not working for me. So for me... The cost per conversion is up, the cost per purchase is up, the cost per thousand people reach is also very, very high. I'm, and I'm not sure what's the reason. Another guy says, Mr. Duck7888 says, low today my CPC gone from one dollar to 49, while CPL is bad, it's sending bad traffic today. So again, this guy is experiencing low quality traffic the cost per click went down but the cpl is bad another comment by flipping noob he says facebook was down for a bit today might have impacted the poor performance today that might be the reason facebook went down for a few hours three weeks ago and since then it seems like our campaign just went down another guy serious business says no sales worst traffic i've seen quite comical at this point and he has the laughing emoji. It's not very funny when you spend a lot of money on ads and they're not working. 
So yeah, at this point, we, we, we might just get a good life and hope and pray that Facebook ads will get better. Another guy in Bistain or Bistein 2602 says, so volatile, yesterday I had a 4 CTR today, it's a 0 0.89 CPM and CPC is super high today. Yep, the CPM is extremely high. Another guy says, this is definitely my worst day I've had with Meta. This might be a coincidence, there might be a day where a lot of people had very, very bad results and they went on ready to complain, so they're complaining, but there might be a real reason why we're getting bad results. There might be a bug in Facebook ads, so something is happening definitely. Another guy says, same here, I lowered my budget by 65% and working on new ad creative to test. This is what you do when Facebook ads are not working. You lower your budget and you start creating new ads because hopefully you're gonna get better click to rate and hopefully the new ads will convert much better. Another guy says down, anybody has any idea what it might fix? And another guy just replies, no one said there was a problem, so there might not be a problem. Another guy, new director 5306 says, pretty sure there is something wrong with Facebook. February reach was the tens of thousands for a small campaign. Now that campaign is on the hundreds of impressions, seeming like the ads aren't being pushed to as many screens as before yet I'm being charged three times more. So what is this guy saying? Really, he says pretty much everything is the same, but his ads are becoming more and more expensive by three times. He also asks, should I pause the campaign for a month and see what's like in April? Feel like I'm throwing money down the toilet. And this is something I also thought about. Should I pause my campaign and restart them in April? I really don't know. For now, I'm just gonna keep running my campaigns and until the next Monday or Tuesday. So I'm gonna run my ads for the next seven days and then I'm gonna make my own decisions. So when I go on Reddit, there are a lot of threads that say how CPM is above 100 people are barely getting traffic to their stores. And to such threads, the main comments are I remember advertising on 75 in 2023 in hair care growth niche with a very good sales frequency. It's a highly saturated niche. CPMs are very high in it. So this guy advice, create very competitive trading or else you bleed out a lot. I repeat, it's a highly saturated niche and I have run campaigns for it. I agree, whenever you have a highly saturated market, you need to have a very competitive creative, but you also need to have a very, very good offer. So make sure your product is something that people want to buy. And this guy put it very, very simple, but very, very accurate. He says, rework offer and creative. If I go and open another thread, this says Meta is killing companies need alternative quick. It's been three months. I have been profitable for my life. I'm a bootstrap startup, but the ROAS for the last three months have been failing down terribly fast. This month it was one. I'm break even at three. Need better alternative. I don't have much pocket left. Possibly my last chance. A lot of businesses are depending on Meta and this is just the reality. My business is depending on Meta. I have a lot of friends who have Facebook ads agency that fully rely on Meta. My brother's business is fully dependable on Meta. My mother's business is fully dependable on Meta. So if something happens with Facebook, Instagram, Meta, WhatsApp, we're all going down. So basically we have our ads in one basket. And this guy is asking for alternative. So I'm gonna share my experience on alternative. I've tried Google ads, I've tried YouTube ads, I've tried Twitter ads, I've tried Reddit ads, I've tried... I haven't tried Pinterest ads, um, although I might give it a shot. For me, the closest I could get to meta results is Google and YouTube. Although the results are not as good, this would be my first recommendation, try Google or YouTube. I recently started playing with Twitter ads. Twitter is also trying to implement conversion tracking and they're trying to make the platform work better. But I didn't get great results, although I got very low cost per click, I didn't get any conversions and I spent around 200. So this would be my suggestion. If you wanna, if you wanna do it, start with YouTube and Google. I know some people who are doing very good on TikTok. So if you wanna go give TikTok a shot, 
but I think Google and YouTube will be my number one recommendation. There is another guy who has a theory about the Facebook ads being down. He calls the meta, meta collapse, meta apocalypse theory or whatever. I cannot even pronounce it. So this guy thinks Facebook ads are down because the number of ads shown has drastically shot up from what I can see. Every third post video is an ad. Doesn't matter if it's Instagram or Facebook, there is simply more being shown all the time. So is this something that you can see when you open your Facebook or Instagram? Can you say that every third post you see is a net? This is just one of the theories and a lot of people just disagree. He's, this guy says, I don't think so. Another guy says that he sees the opposite. He said that he rented profiles and some of them have zero ads on them. So this could be a Facebook ads delivery issue another guy basically he has a theory that some of the issues are due to the market reset after the end of q5 discretionary spending decreases i'm not sure what this means this is something i'll research after this video i'm gonna open another subreddit it goes like this facebook will kill your small business facebook is killing my small business i worked so hard in the past couple of years to get my business off the ground using meta one week good results next week crickets proven products with 80k in sales so it's not the products that's the issue it's meta decided to hire an agency to make things easier but i got burned by them twice this year i took over myself again last week everything was going great and bam this week is bad again ads are barely paying for itself this week what's the alternative here we just suck up and keep burning our hard earned money what else to do please help and this guy is really desperate and i feel for this guy because when my ads are not working i'm just also very desperate i feel sad sometimes there is things you can do right you can create new copy you can improve your offer you can maybe boost your landing page conversion rate but at this moment i also believe that the problem is in meta this guy says your business model is broken if one advertising medium has the capacity to wreck your business you've set yourself up for failure facebook isn't killing your business you've put it on death row by not diversifying seriously while well, mets maybe the lion's share of advertising avenue should be advertising on every single platform plus sms email events honestly guys i've tried many advertising platforms as i said earlier but for my purposes meta has been the best so far i couldn't get any other advertising platform close to meta or facebook and it's because facebook and meta they just have a lot of data for the customer they have multiple placements you can use you can use facebook instagram whatsapp facebook messenger and it's really easy to target people so i don't think we'll see another platform as meta because right now the european union the united states they're all trying to regulate how those platforms work so facebook google youtube whatever they cannot gather enough data for the customer they're not allowed they're not allowed by the law to gather the data that's why they cannot really know who is the perfect buyer when you do your targeting another guy says sounds like without meta you wouldn't have any business and that's the truth for me as well and i'm not proud to say it but without meta i won't be able to make my business work i run a facebook ads agency my content on youtube is about facebook ads i even met my wife on facebook dating <laughs> so i'm not sure usually any business would rely on maybe two or three factors if those two or three factors do not come to play this business is going down this guy says why 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 do you need to keep your eggs in a single basket i don't seem to understand that well it just it just works the best what's to explain sign up for google sign up for tiktok use email marketing drive cold traffic from google tiktok and use meta to retarget and drive more data points to get better i see the end idea of this guy but when you add more platforms with google tiktok email marketing it gets very very difficult to manage to manage a good facebook ads account a profitable facebook ads account you need one person to manage a google ads you need another person to manage a tiktok you need another person so you need three people so far i know there might be some person somewhere who is amazing with facebook instagram tiktok and google but this person won't be cheap 
it's gonna be very very difficult to find this person because if there is somebody who is that great with all those three advertising platforms probably this person have set up their own business and they're making a bunch of money when it comes to email marketing here you might need two or maybe three people you need a email marketing specialist and you and you need a copywriter to run this thing if you want to run the whole thing by yourself or if you outsource all these things to one person it's going to be very very difficult for them to make them work because when you diversify your channels you also need more people to manage the channel it's simple as that of course you can get ai to write your ads or you can get ai to create images or make videos but still you need somebody to know what are they doing you need somebody that will manage the whole thing this guy says pretty much in the same boat here was up for 1k day spent in january multiple successful products grossing north of 800k past couple of months just had been up and down now we're sitting at 1.5 ROAS, not knowing what to do we're on google ads but can't scale too much meta tiktok didn't convert for us at all even with ugc might have to shift more inventory to amazon at this point oh basically this guy is saying that the ross is down they were very successful with facebook ads but the last few months they cannot get the same return on ad spend he goes and says that he's running google but results are not as great as meta for this guy tiktok didn't convert even with ugc this guy asks are google ads profitable for you and he answers yeah but on a small scale we sell a handful of products so there is only so much relevant search traffic that we can show for only spending about 50 per day three ish rows which is profitable for us so it's not bad but it's not great you cannot like support the team you cannot scale the business that way if you want to scale the business you really need to feed the machine cash flow right and facebook ads are great for scaling i had days on facebook where i scaled to 40k you can see what's happening so this guy the next guy he says something very very interesting he says i know it sounds a bit strange but depending on your niche i would give snapchat ads and pinterest ads a try the conversion i got on snapchat is crazy pinterest conversion rate is about 55 percent to 20 percent higher than meta although the traffic is less definitely worth a shot i'm about to try them out for a client interesting thank you not sure pinterest would work for our niche sports nutrition but snap just might another guy says sorry to hear you're going through the same thing it's very stressful honestly i've created an account with amazon but i haven't listed anything yet looking to jump on some google ads here soon hopefully help the lights go go on so this girl says practical coyote 6482 that she's seeing conversion rate that is higher on pinterest compared to meta 55 percent to 20 higher than meta she says i'm not sure if that's the case something you might want to test another guy frontline optics says i've had some terrible days but we've also had some great days in march try to look at things from a bigger picture and not smaller focusing on the day by day will make you here fell out mine's already gone and also mine's already gone no i still have hair just kidding make sure you're capturing emails from everybody you can't you're renting space on meta but you own the email and sms you collect we use a spin the wheel technique to grab ours if you're at least breaking even keep going and keep testing to find out what works some are crushing interest targeting some aren't some advantage plus some not every account is different for us it's broad that's working with a heavy focus on creative we're at a forex on the month across all platforms keep your head up just this time to figure out to sharpen the x i agree with this guy because he says what you need to do would be to focus on the big picture instead of comparing your results day by day he also makes a very very important point by saying that if you are not grabbing people's emails to remarket them later you're leaving a lot of money on the table so think about that this is something that i do with some of my clients for my own business i don't do it because as i mentioned earlier i'm just a i'm just doing a lot of things at once so i don't have really the time to set a proper email marketing he also says that every ad account is different which i agree and he says now is a great time to sharpen the x and by sharpening the x this means 
take step to increase your conversion rate, take steps to create a much better creative, maybe take steps, maybe take steps to hire somebody who will help you scale your ads. But as you can see, a lot of people are struggling with Facebook ads. So it's not just me and you. We are not alone in this. A lot of people are struggling. Usually a lot of people are just offering different solutions. So what I think would be reasonable to do would be to lower our budget. It would be to start creating some new ads, would be to start testing some different interests, lookalike audiences, broad targeting, Advantage Plus, something you haven't tested before. We could start creating new angles when it comes to Facebook ads. The next thing we could do would be to go into our offer and think of steps on how to increase our conversion rate on our landing page. This could mean changing the headline. This could mean taking better photography of, of our products. This could be adding urgency to our page, adding scarcity to our page. This could be just branding our products in a better way but also this could mean using ugly images using ugly videos that will sell our products so there is a lot of things we could do and i believe that sharpening the x as the guy said is a very very smart thing we could do right now so i'm just gonna give you my plan because i'm gonna share what i'll do so I'm gonna definitely lower my budget. That's the one thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start using manual bidding. I'm gonna set bid cap for most of my ads. And I'm just gonna keep on testing. If I see some days getting better, I'll just scale. I'm gonna add new creatives. I'm gonna add one or two ads each and every three or four, day four days. So let's see what's going to happen. Let's see if just this is temporary Facebook ads crash or this is something that will struggle for the rest of our, of our lives. When it comes to the alternative, I think this is just a prediction. I'm not good at predictions, but I think I predict that Twitter ads will be the next meta in the next two or three years. So let's see if my prediction is right. This is Nico. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and, oh, and watch all my videos in order. And yeah, I'll talk to you soon.